Okay, so in this lab here, we're going to be investigating several chemical equilibria. Uh, we're going to be doing this in stations here. Uh, our first station here involves, uh, I have 50 milliliters of distilled water here in this Erlenmeyer flask. We're going to be analyzing a chemical indicator. This one here is thymol blue. I'm going to start off by dropping the indicator inside. The exact amount doesn't matter, okay? Although you don't need a ton of it here. I'm going to try to get the color change a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going to add in, let's say, five drops here. Anytime in this lab here, they're asking you, uh, sort of counting how many drops it is, we can approximate two drops from these dropper bottles as about a milliliter. So in this case here, we have our solution here, uh, starting off as this uh, tone of blue color here. Uh, we're gonna be uh, starting off by adding the acid. So I have 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid. We're gonna note any changes in color. And then to neutralize the acid, uh, we're gonna add in the same concentration for sodium hydroxide. And again, just uh, tracking any changes that we see. So uh, this one here is the acid. And then a little bit of acid here. You see the color is already a little bit different. Took okay, more of a tone of a yellow color. Okay. If I had stronger acid here, I might be able to get uh, the color change to happen even a little bit more than that. Okay, but I'm just gonna add some acid. Make sure that you can see that color well. So it's uh, definitely a lot more yellow than it was before. Maybe one more squirt. And then going the other way here, I'm expecting the sodium hydroxide to neutralize that acid. So I should be able to bring uh, the color back to the initial uh, blue color that we saw here. If these concentrations are close, uh, I should uh, need uh, very similar amounts of volume to neutralize uh, the acid. And there we go, we see it changing back to a blue color. It might sort of change back and forth between blue and yellow, depending on how much excess acid there is, but definitely as I add in a little bit more base here, uh, it should return back to that blue color, All right? So definitely this is reversible. Definitely you can add one, bring the color one way, add the other, bring the color the other way here. We're just gonna note down the color change, and then we're gonna figure out uh, what shift was involved uh, later on. So just for uh, argument's sake here, I'm gonna add an acid again here. If I can kill off some of that base here, I should be able to get rid of this blue color. Thymol blue is a very special indicator that actually has two endpoints. We'll see in a later chapter. Uh, again, if I had stronger acid and a stronger base here, I should be able to see one other color change. But so far, based on the concentrations that we have, uh, I have it steadily in basic solution here. It would be more of a blue tone. Uh, if I add more acid here, it's gonna go more towards the yellow end. All right. So that's station one. Thanks, guys.